Prediction times. Ladies and gentlemen, you already know Tim Zoo versus Sebastian Fundora. Short, short notice, 12 day notice, but in all reality, it's one week notice because the last week is media week. You feel me? So they probably only had like six days to prepare for one another. But I think it was harder for Tim Zoo to prepare for Sebastian Fundora. Now, my prediction is I'm siding a little bit with Tim Zoo. I think it's a 50-50 fight just because there is really no real preparation. And there's no real preparation for a guy like Sebastian Fundura anyway. Like, even if you have an eight-week camp, it's hard to prepare for Sebastian Fundura. The thing is that Sebastian Fundura, the issue that I have with Sebastian Fundura is that he has a low IQ in terms of never knowing how to use his length, his size, pause. You feel me? He's 6'5", 6'6", can't keep his opponent away with the jab, which is easy. It should be easier for him. He throws a lot of high volume punches, which is also subjective for him to get counter. So I just don't think, I, I think, I think that Sebastian Fundura uses this. He uses this, but he doesn't use this. And if you understand the sport of boxing, just like Mike Tyson says, he said, the smart fighter wins. Not the toughest, but the smarter fighter wins. I believe that Tim Zoo is a smarter fighter. I'm not saying that he's a defensive whiz, um, but I'm siding a little bit with Tim Zoo because I think I think that Sebastian Fundura is going to give Tim Zoo everything that he wants. He gave it to Brian Mendoza. He gave it to Erickson Lubin. Yes, he beat Erickson Lubin, but at the end of the day, you feel me? He made it harder for himself, and that's the thing about Sebastian Fundura. Sebastian Fundura makes his job harder. You feel me? Um, so I got Tim Zoo to be the most disciplined fighter. But I could also see an upset. I could also see an upset because I don't consider Tim Zhu uh, 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 this, this defensive whiz. And I think that he's straight up and down. Straight up and down. I'm not going to say no special effects like the way that Flo Mayweather described Triple G. But at the end of the day, it's still a lot of things that Tim Zhu needs to prove in the sport of boxing. In, in his division, you know what I'm saying? He didn't. He's, he's, not, he's not what Jamel Charlo did in becoming um, um, undisputed world champion and clear out the, the, the whole division. You know what I'm saying? But he does have a great momentum beating Tony Harrison, beating um, um, Ocampo, beating Brian Mendoza, who knocked out um, 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 Fundura. But we're not going to use that triangle, a triangle theory. I think this is a 50-50 fight. I can see a big upset with Fundura winning. I, it, it, I, it, that won't even surprise me. But I also see I also see Tim Zhu coming up with a victory. But I'm going to say like this. It's going to be a stoppage. It's going to be a knockout. Either way. Either way. They didn't have enough of a game plan or time for game planning for either either or. You feel me? So I could see also Sebastian Vendura. I know I'm, I'm, not, I'm going back and forth with, with the prediction. It's a 50-50 fight of me. I'm giving the edge to Tim Zhu, but I won't be surprised if I see uh, um, Fundura. Um, probably, I could see this fight going like Erickson Lubin and Fundura. Just going at it, just going at it, just going at it. And the, and, and the toughest guy win, maybe. Maybe. Because I see Tim Zhu also being hurt. I don't see he has a polished defense as well. You feel me? So it's a really pick em fight. I'm siding with Tim Zhu, but I could also see a, a, a upset. If I were to bet money, I will bet on Sebastian Fundura. There you go. I'm giving you your betting, and I'm giving you my prediction. As a sport, hardcore boxing fan, just to look at the sport, I can see Tim Zhu winning. But as a betting man, I will bet on Sebastian Fundura. Let me know what y'all think. Subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button. Love you. God bless. And on to the next.